Hey bro, this is your reminder to stop being so negative. If you're living a pessimistic, defeated, unambitious life, you're not even living. Right now, if you're feeling anything but happiness or anything but excitement, you aren't even alive because the absence of light is just darkness. Dude, there's really not that many people on your side. It's you and your parents. And you know what? Chances are you don't even live with your dad, so it's just you and your mom. And if you have brothers and sisters, they're focused on their own things. You can be there for them, and I encourage you to be there for them. But truth be told, they're focused on their own things, and you're focused on your own things. So if it's just you and your mother against the world, you cannot be against yourself. That's half of your team, bro. That's half, bro. You are alive. You are a living being. You feel things. You can see me. You can hear me. Bro, look outside, dude. Look outside. There's trees. There's sunlight. But I understand. I mean, if you're feeling all pessimistic and all lonely or just nihilistic, negative, then what's the point in trying to find happiness? You're not even alive. And what kind of life is that? It's just you and your mom on your team against the world of like now 8 other billion people. So if it's just you two against the world, you for sure... 100% gotta be on your side because although you have this negative mindset, this negative mindset, this pessimistic mindset, thinking, I can't do it, or I won't even go far, so I won't even try. You're not gonna get to the places that you want to get to. Let's say you want something that somebody else has. Let's say there's a rich guy over there, and then you see him in his, in his what, in his red Ferrari, and you're thinking, oh man, there's no way I could get that. Well, guess what? He's a human. He's, he's no different than you, really. Maybe he was born into a rich family. Well, guess what? A lot of people are born into a rich family. They lose it all, and then they gain it back. And a lot of people are born without money, and then they just get rich. So what makes you any different? You got to stop making excuses because, truth be told, excuses are just a form of fear. You got to write down this question. What is the worst thing that could happen if I pursued this? Maybe it's that you lose a lot of money or you lose a bunch of relationships because of all the time you sacrificed for your goal. Regardless, you got to pause this video and you got to figure it out. Now, the next question you got to ask yourself is what are the steps that I could do that if this worst case scenario were to happen, I could bounce back. When you've asked yourself both these questions and you've answered them completely and honestly, what is there to fear? There is no unknown. There is much less unknown than there was before. So really the only thing you gotta do is man up and try it. Seriously, regardless of what you wrote down, the worst thing that can happen is that there's this reality where you get all the things that you want. There's this other one where you didn't even try. You could have gotten all these things that you wanted. You could have been here, but you decided to just stay here, not even go up the stairs. Although we don't have control over the circumstances and situations we are born into, it is our responsibility to do our best to deal with them and to do the most that we can with them. That's all I got for you today, bro. Stay positive and uh, have a good night. Give me a fist bump, bro.